Did you know that you can remove the background on OBS without even needing a green screen or a GPU? It is very easy with one simple plugin and today I'll show you how to use it and how to set it up. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So as I said, you can actually remove the background from your webcam using OBS and no green screen at all. You don't even need the GPU as it says over here. It doesn't require a GPU and it works in all OSs. So it even works with Mac, it even works on Linux which is really, really amazing. I will link this plugin down in the description below for you guys to download. All you have to do is click the link right here, click on go to download, and then you will see the actual download button. So when you scroll down, you will see OBS background removal and then the version name. Currently, the version is 1.1.10. If you scroll down, you will see the Windows installer, you will see the Linux installer, and you will see the Mac installer. If you don't really know how to install plugins, just download the installer, run it, go next, 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 and that's it. If you're uh, you know, more advanced, I would recommend going with the zip file, unzipping it, and then copying it to your OBS folder, which is usually program files and then OBS studio. If you've done that and you install the plugin, now we need to set it up and actually use it. Now that you're in OBS, all you have to do is go find your webcam source. So go to sources over here, find your webcam source, whatever it is, right click it, go to filters, and now you have your webcam over here. So if you want to add that filter, all you have to do is right click, add, and then background removal right here. We click on background removal, you click on OK, and now you have the background removal. But this is not good. As you can see, it's pretty laggy. It looks weird. We want to go to advanced settings and we want to change the settings. So over here, what we do is we enable the threshold. That's going to make our uh, you know screen look a little bit better. It is going to use more resources. Keep in mind that you will need to have a decent PC for this because, you know, obviously it will use decent bit of resources. First thing, what we want to change is either GPU or CPU. Like I said, you don't even need to have the GPU, but it is recommended. It will be much easier on the stream and on the resources on your PC if you do use a GPU and you have a 20 series and above. So if you don't, you can just choose CPU, but if you do, use your GPU right over here. And now the threshold, if you move it all the way left, it will remove the effect totally, right? It won't even work. If you move it all the way to the right, then it might even do it too much where it cuts my fingers and it does this like weird thing over here. So we don't want that either. We want to find a middle ground. Again, this will be different for everyone, no matter like if you have good lighting, bad lighting, what, uh, like how far away the camera is from you. So find the middle ground, find the threshold that works for you. I'll go with something like this. And then the contour filter is like the percentage of image. So how much do you want it to actually you know, remove the background. If you go again too much too much to the right, it will do the weird distortion. If you go to the left, it will do this like weird thing on the left. So find a middle ground that works for you. The smooth silhouette is going to, if you go to the left, it will do basically pixelation on the edges. So it will just do the pixelation everywhere. But if you go too much to the right, then it will be like too smooth. So again, find something that works for you. Somewhere in the middle is going to be smooth, but not too smooth and not too pixelated. Uh, feather blend silhouette is going to uh, add this blur on the edges. So it doesn't look, you know, too harsh like it does over here. This is like very, very harsh. If you want to add the blur, just increase this a little bit. And here you go. It already looks much, much better. Uh, as you can see, when I move, it does cut out one of my ears, which is a little bit weird, but you can play with that with your threshold. Again, my lighting is not really the best over here. So it is a very challenging to do this effect over here. But if you have, you know, normal lighting, normal uh, key lights, it should be no problem. If you scroll down over here, you have the CPU threads. So what this CPU threads does is if you're using the CPU, it depends on how many threads it's going to use for this effect. The more you use, the more CPU resources it uses as well. So obviously that makes sense. Uh, you don't want to go too much, but you don't want to go too low because then it's going to struggle to even render out this background removal. Again, I recommend like one, two, maybe even see as I increased it, it does drop my FPS. So it does lag my stream already, even though I have a really, really good PC. So one to two is what I recommend. Don't go over that. You're going to crash your OBS. You're going to lag your stream. Segmentation model. Here's what we need to change and what we need to play around 
to make our you know background removal better so usually what is recommended what is the best for resources is media pipe that's one of the best segmentation models we can change around and see what actually works best for you see like when i go selfie it adds my chair as well to it if i add pp human seg this makes it a little bit better it does uh you know lag my stream but it does look a little bit better like it catches my whole mic and my arm and everything and when i move it adds like the depth to it as well so go find what works the best for you i usually use media pipe and what you know that's what the devs recommended as well that's like the best for pc resources but if that looks just bad for you try to find something that el something else that works and then you can do the smooth factor as well over here to get the best smoothness of the edges and of your source so blur background this is if you want to add the blur to your background if you don't even want to remove anything you just want to add the blur you can increase this and it's gonna blur everything else like a depth of field effect pretty cool you can enable the focal blur and then find your focal point uh wherever it is like if you go up it's going to you know blur only you and not the background and if you do you know focus the blur focus depth it's going to you know just basically blur me and leave the background not blurred i don't know why you would use that if you have like a special effect you can use this but overall this is what you need to do and how to set it up it's pretty simple takes you no longer than like two minutes and you can remove your background without even needing a super super nice gpu and without even needing the green screen obviously this plugin won't remove the background just as smooth as the green screen does but it does get the job done if you want to use it for zoom or microsoft teams or anything else it does the job and it looks pretty decent if this video helped you make sure to drop the like button it would mean the world if you don't already know i do stream on twitch three days a week link is down in the description below if you want to watch more of my obs tips and trick videos make sure to check this video right over here and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out and have a good one bye bye